So good afternoon everyone, welcome back to Mossy's Mini Allotment. So I'll do a quick update between the, the downpours. So as you can see, not much has happened in the beds themselves, but I've been busy in the background trying to catch up some time. I uh, haven't done nothing on the last update, so did a quick walk through. Added a new tent, um, just to try and get the seeds going. And also got the spuds in, so let's have a walk around. So because I'm so far behind this year, I decided really just to grow the things I wanted to grow and things I like to eat. So we've dropped a few things off the list from last year, mainly the beans, like raw beans and, and things like that. Um, I've also cut back on the number of spuds I've done, so hopefully the wind isn't too strong. So I'm just doing queens, as you can see. Hopefully they're starting to come through. Again, doing them in the bags. And then the back then, the only other type of spud I'm doing, like last year, was this famine potato, the lumper. So again, cut back. As you can see, the little lalarasa is still growing well. So outside of that, there's um, I've just dug over the beds again, added some fairly decent organic uh, compost and, and let them settle down. And then in the background, I've been trying to get the seeds up and running. So maybe we'll walk through the two tents that I have here and see what I've been doing. So in this new tent, as you can see, I've got a lot of slug pellets down, but that's basically because I was away for a couple of days last week. And as you can see, one little slug came in, took most of the turnips and cabbage out. And I just don't have the time to, to really try and play catch up on that, so I've just covered everything, to be honest. So as you can see, I've been busy, a lot coming up, and still pretty young, but I, I'm, I'm hopeful that I'll be able to get them big enough to get them into the ground. So there's Colgo Boy, uh, Calabrese, Marathon, Cauliflower, Ramanesco, I think it's called, so I'm not doing the traditional cauliflower, because it kept bolting on me. In the background, then some lettuce, these beetroot, these are sort of white and red circular when you cut them, so they're again something a bit different. Spinach, yeah, we've got a mix here, you've got the spring onions at the back, some more beetroot, a different type. What's left of the torn ups on the cabbage. So last night I re put in some torn ups, some swedes, and a little raw cabbage, so we'll see if we have time for that. It's the lettuce coming through as a different mix of everything. And then all the peas. So I'm pretty much doing just the normal garden pea. Some purple mange too. Uh, and then runner beans. So as you can see they're all starting to come up. And some sweet pea in the middle there. And then the last two that haven't broken through are the courgette and cucumber. So that's that new tent. So that's, that's where I am. And I suppose from having nothing in the last video I'm happy enough, I just hope they'll they'll bulk up and, and get a good root ball on them and then I'll get them in. So I'll just move around to the other tent which is basically the majority of that is flowers. So then quickly on this one, really just to do some flowers from seed and as I said last night I did start again the um, torn up swede, some more spring onion, a raw cabbage. These are all just flower seeds, probably put in too many but we'll thin them out as they come. Various varieties will go through them when they're a bit bigger. Same again here. And then these are my sunflowers and you can see various different types, different sizes and colours. Just try and add a bit of colour to the garden. And then below I have um, these strawberry plants. So there's some advantages of coming late. Uh, basically got all these on the reduced stand in the garden centre. So these worked out about 30 cent each. And I just broke them out and repotted them just to get them a bit bigger before they put them in. That's I bought two sets of plants just to try and backfill this pur pur purpose about broccoli. And then I also bought a little few cabbage that I might just put in again just in case the seeds don't come through. So that's it. As I said, I've been busy. Hopefully we'll catch up. Looking forward to the challenge either way. Fruit bushes down the back there. Carrots, I haven't gone in yet. I'm just doing a mix, mainly orange, nante, and some purple. Uh, but I still have to get them in. So a lot better than I was in the last update, happy enough. Um, and within the next two or three weeks, hopefully we'll, we'll have plants in the ground and we can get going on the, on the ground. Thanks for all the comments and the encouragement. Thanks to Ian, Brendan, everyone else. And talk to you all real soon. Thanks a million, Sean.